Have you ever wanted to get out the door in 10 minutes, but have a full face? Well, I've got some tools that'll help you do just that. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about these color sticks. So color sticks are a really great way for you to get out the door in like five minutes and give your face a little bit of definition. Um, for demo purposes, I'm gonna put all of the sticks on at the same time and then start to blend. But when I do it in my real life, typically I'm going to apply one at a time. I usually do bronzer first, then blush, and then highlight. But again, just so you can see um, all of the different ways that you wanna put them on your face to define different areas, I'm gonna do all three at once before we start to blend. Then I've got two tools because you've got options because hello I like options in life when you're blending you can use a dampened beauty blender and I have a whole separate video totally on my channel about how to use a beauty blender because if you'll notice a beauty blender is typically much smaller than this and that's because I've already dampened this one so you want to totally soak it like squeeze it under the running water a couple of times wring it out and then I squeeze it with a towel to get any excess moisture out and then it's ready to be used. You can also use a brush, this is a fancy looking one, but it's really not a fancy one, um, to blend your sticks as well. So whichever you prefer, either one works. All right, so I've prepped my face already with foundation. Um, so I've got a layer of my Too Faced Peach foundation on, and we're doing the flamenco today, guys, if you notice my shirt. <laughs> Um, so I've got my base on and then it's really important to note that this is still um, a wet product so much like your foundation is a wet product if you're using a liquid foundation this is also a, a liquid product or a wet product it's not liquid it's wet you want to make sure that you're not putting any powder on your face before you use the rest of your wet your bronze stick you're gonna pull out and this is what's going to allow you to contour your face so I have you know, a pretty good size forehead. And so I like to contour my forehead to kind of bring it in a little bit. If you have a short forehead for whatever reason, obviously you can skip this step. And you're gonna draw. And don't be scared, you just draw it on there like that. And then I like to do a little, just to bring it down a little bit more, all okay? right? And then you're going to do your cheekbones here. And what that's gonna do is instantly elevate your cheeks. All right, and then here, so to get rid of this turkey neck right here, well, it doesn't actually get rid of it, but it gives the illusion of a slimmer neck, you're gonna draw along your jawline. This looks pretty scary, but it's really truly not. All right, so we've got highlighted cheekbone, or not highlighted, but lifted cheekbones here and here. We're bringing in the forehead here, and then we're getting rid of the neck here. And then, depending on what shape your nose is, I do like to do a little bit of contour on my nose. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start pretty much at the eyebrow and just draw a skinny line down the side, like this. And like that, and that's gonna slim your nose and really draw um, attention to your face. And then if you want to give yourself a little bit of a fuller pout, a little bit right under the bottom lip. All right, so that's what you're gonna do for bronzer. Sometimes I like to go a little heavier. Right there. In general, a good rule of thumb to remember with your with your bronzer is that you want to do a a, le a letter three. In general, with your bronzer, you want to do a number three. So you're really doing this kind of motion. And like I said, this is your wet product. So once we get all of this blended and I'm going to go in and set my face with setting powder, I'll also go over with a bronzer powder and just kind of go over all of the areas that I did the bronzing with the powder. And that just kind of emphasizes it a little bit more. Totally not necessary, but if you're doing like a full glam face, you probably want to do that as well. Next up, we've got our blush stick. So this is our color blush. Again, it's a wet product, and this is going to go just above where we applied the bronzer. All right? Maybe even a little on the apples of my cheeks. All 
It gives you a little rosy cheek. All right, that's it for blush. Next up is the highlight stick, and the highlight stick we can use in a lot of different ways. Um, first and foremost, I like to highlight a little bit of my forehead. The idea between highlight, uh, the idea between, between, jeez, Jessica. The idea behind highlighter is to really draw attention to the center of your face. You really want people focusing on the center. It brings everything in. It draws all of the light there. So again, I'm gonna start right here. You're gonna do a skinny line right down the center of your nose. You're gonna pop right above. your blush. So you've got bronzer, blush, highlight. It really stacks in a three motion. And then you can pop it right under your eyebrow here to give a little eyebrow lift. You can also do it right on top of your cupid's bow. And that's gonna emphasize your lips. And again, when we apply the vial, you'll really see it pop. Um, I like to do a little bit of highlighter on my cheekbones too. That way when I smile, it really brings forth the cheekbones. Um, where else? You can also do a little highlighter here. It depends on how much glow you really want going on on your face. But again, just the center of the face. I look like a science project. Um, all right, so that's it. Literally, you can do your entire face in five minutes. It takes just a couple of minutes to put the sticks all over, and now we just have to blend. And blending is the most important part in any makeup application whatsoever. Again, you've got options. You can use your beauty blender or you can use your brush. I really do prefer the beauty blender. I'm gonna do one side with the beauty blender and one side with the brush, just so you can see how they both work. And then it's just pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. This is the boring part of the tutorial, <laughs> when you see me blending for days. But you can already see after just a little bit of blending how it's already coming together. It really does melt right into your skin. When you're blending your forehead, you want to make sure you're blending into the hairline. Otherwise, you're going to be able to see a very distinct brown circle around your head and that's not cute. The flamenco arms are really going. <laughs> you guys, so I have my lighting up um, for when I do my videos and it's freaking hot, so. I'm gonna have to blend faster because I'm getting warm. <laughs> okay, now with your cheekbone here, like I did the dark, when you're blending this side, you wanna be make sure that you're blending in an upward motion and not down. It's really important that this part of the cheek right here, you want that part of the cheek to stay clean because that's what's gonna give you that lift. It's also what's gonna give you that slimming down here. So you want this part to stay with just the foundation and you don't want any color or bronzer or anything down here, all right? And as you can see, it's literally an instant facelift when you use that little bit of bronzer. It's crazy what a difference it makes. Blend, blend, blend. We're gonna switch over to a brush. When you're using a brush to blend um, the color sticks, you wanna make sure that it's pretty densely packed. Um, this is a very densely packed brush. There's lots of different brushes you can use. You don't need any kind of special one, but one for blending would be best. All right. And see how quickly that starts to blend? you it's pretty hard to do this in a camera lens and not in front of an actual mirror just saying <laughs> um, and then if I'm like well you know my forehead still seems a little bit big I can come in and give it some more just like that don't be scared it blends out Ooh. 
And it is really crazy how much depth just these color sticks give to your face. It really gives dimension, it gives illusion. And like I said, I'm taking a while so that I can dem demonstrate for you guys, but you can have these things applied and blended out in five to 10 minutes max, out the door, just like that. And you can also use um, these sticks to highlight your decollete too. Depending on what kind of a top you're wearing or if you're exposing your shoulders, you wanna apply bronzer in a triangle right here and then rub it in. And you can also highlight the tips of your shoulders. If you're wearing a tank top or spaghetti straps or a strapless something, do a little bit of highlight right here on the tips of your shoulders and blend it out. And that's just going to give it a nice little pop. You can also do a little bit of highlight here on the collarbone. All kinds of tricks and tips for sure. Google highlighter, Google bronzer, Google contouring, and you're going to see all of the different places. These are just some of the most frequently known places that you can use them. And stand by because we're about to do the vial. Do we think I am fully blended? I'm trusting you guys. This side looks like it could use a little bit more. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is apply your primer. Once you pull it out, you're going to wipe off the excess because you need very little product, okay? Wipe off the excess and then you're going to start in the middle of your lip, swipe it left, right, left, right, and then smoosh your lips together. And then we're gonna sit here and chat for a couple of minutes because I wanna give this a good two minutes to get tacky and ready to receive the color. So this is, again, a green chemistry. It's utilizing fermented desert date oil. What is green chemistry, you ask? Green chemistry is when you take a natural substance and manipulate it on the scientific level, like with the molecules and all of that fun stuff, to perform as a non-natural product. So by using this desert date oil and fermenting it, it gets it to perform like um, a synthetic item that we would otherwise find in other lipsticks. But because it's green chemistry, it is actually a natural substance and it feels wonderful on your lips. All right, so again, we're gonna pull out the color. And just like with all Posh products, very little goes a long way. Do not apply this DOFA applicator to your lips before you have wiped off most of the product. You need very, very little. This is called a doe foot applicator, all right? So a lot of people were confused about what the doe feet were. This is a doe foot applicator. This is love, love the wine you're with. Love the wine you're with. It's love the wine you're with. Love the wine you're with. So again, I wiped off most of the product. I'm gonna apply it the same way that I applied the primer, all right? Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. And just like yesterday, if you mess up, you just use your finger and fix it. <laughs> and it's fine. Love the one you're with. When you're using a dark color, outlining your lips with concealer or lining your lips with a lip pencil is really going to help that color to stay put within the confines of your beautiful lips. Um, it's not necessary, but it really will help a little bit. And so when I was wearing Love the Wine You're With Vial in Las Vegas, I did go ahead and line my lips with concealer just to keep it stay put. Because I was wearing Vial for like eight to 10 hours and I really didn't wanna risk it having any kind of bleeding. That's what it's called is bleeding when it's gonna go into those fine lines. Does it have that dry feeling? Absolutely not. I use so many different lippies, all of the big brands, la 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 la, they all have different qualities as far as how much I need to apply lip balm throughout the day or whatever. Vial, it must be the green chemistry, it keeps my lips moisturized. I did not need to apply a lip balm or a lip oil or anything throughout the day at all ever. Now, I would not say that Vial is 100% transfer proof. I would say that it's transfer resistant. 
I would say after a couple of hours, if I'm drinking from a coffee cup or something, I'm gonna see the lightest bit of lip color on my cup, um, but it's not coming off of my lips. Um, if I kiss my hand after it's been on for a good five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna see the lightest little bit of lip marks, but not a full blown kiss mark. Now if I put the gloss on, that's going to give me that glossy look, but it's going to reduce the wear. It's going to reduce the wear by at least half, and it's also going to make transferring a lot more prevalent. You're going to get a lot more transfer if you use the gloss. I will tell you, it doesn't hurt to pick up the gloss because the gloss is an amazing lip moisturizer. You can use it by itself at night before you go to bed and it's really going to nourish your lips and feel just like a lip oil. It's definitely a long wearing liquid lipstick. It's going to last you a good eight hours. Maybe you might need to touch it up. Maybe you won't depending on what you eat throughout the day. Um, but it feels so good. I, that's the biggest thing that I love about these lippies is that they feel nourishing. They feel great. I don't feel like I have a lipstick on and when, it when I take it off, I don't feel like I abused my lips all day. They literally feel like they had a lip balm on all day long. So I super recommend it for that reason. I'm super excited to get all of the other colors. So today we demoed both the color sticks and the vial. Uh, the primer and the color. Love the wine you're with. And this is the finished product. Cha cha cha! <laughs> if you absolutely love a glossy look, then that's fine. Put the topper on top and just know that you're going to reduce the wear a little bit, a little bit when you use it. Well, a lot bit, by like half. Um, but that goes for any lipstick whatsoever. If you're using a gloss on top of a lipstick, it's always going to reduce that wear time. All right, so I have, how long has it been? I think it's been on for about eight minutes now, maybe nine minutes. So let's do a kiss test. I'm kind of nervous to do it live. Okay, so again, there we are. Can you see? Can you see the lips? You see a very faint lip mark here. So again, not 100% transfer proof. And I'm pressing pretty freaking hard. You've got a little tiny bit of lip right there. Um, let's try to press a little lighter. Oh, so if you just give a little bit of a peck to your hubby or your loved one, you're not gonna get much transfer at all. So here and here are the first kisses when I pressed really super hard and here and here were my little peck kisses. But most importantly, the color is still totally on my lips. Okay, so this is a full face. I started with just my foundation and I finished with the color sticks and with Vile. If you wanna recreate this look yourself, you can pick up these products right at jessicaposh.com. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Thanks for watching. Olé. Da, 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 da. I can fly.